We found that at the end of last year, because of the four-day work week, a lot of people had taken less PTO throughout the course of the year. So they either took all of it at the end of the year or found that they couldn't carry it over. Um, so what we did to mitigate that is we actually adjusted our PTO accrual policy so people can take more PTO in the first half of the year now. Um, and it's been working out a lot better. One of the challenges we had early on was that we really advocated for people to like fill their calendar with even just like deep work time. So like your calendar isn't, doesn't have open space. The perception was that managers were not available to their, to their, to their direct reports or that okay. there was sort of like this issue. And so then we said, okay, we need to actually figure out a way to like introduce buffer time so that manage, direct reports feel like they can reach out to managers, you know, that's an important thing. So we did that. And I think that was sort of a shift we made early on. It's entirely flexible so we don't we don't it's not like everybody takes a friday and that's fine as long as everybody is sort of has a visibility on when those days off are and that they share out the day the, you know, the more popular days and um i think that that wasn't clear enough at the start and that sometimes meant that people were having to pick up other people's work so by creating greater transparency and organizing that in a much smarter way in a much better way we've been able to, to resolve that